Hello everyone, this is Maurizio, editor-in-chief of Power Electronics News and Embedded.com and I am uh, at Electronica showcasing in uh, Munich in this wonderful uh, location and uh, today I am here at the uh, Wurt Electronic uh, booth and I have the pleasure to be here with Alexander Gerfer, CTO of Wurt. Hi Alexander, thanks a lot for being here, how is it going? Thank you Maurizio for the invitation and the time. Thanks, doing well and a very interesting show today, absolutely. Yeah, indeed, thanks a lot. So Electronica is one of the most uh, significant trade shows in the electronics industry. So my first question, what's news uh, from Wurt? What uh, key technologies are you showcasing in these uh, days? Well, we have uh, several news, of course, in our traditional field of the power inductors. We have some new power inductors, so molded power inductors with lower losses in class. Now we have the best, so to say. And um, with even uh, yeah, lower DCR, the MXGI, it's called in ours. Then we, of course, support the idea of more yeah, efficiency by coupled inductors, the TLVR inductor solutions. Yeah, coupled inductors is one of the key technologies for new power application designs. Then we have high current connectors because you have high currents on PCB boards, but how to bring away? So mm -hmm. around inductors and magnetics is the so-called press fit technology, red cubes we call them, very important. We show some new cases and solutions here. And of course then really, really high power wire wound inductors for really high current stuff which we had not in that extent before. Thank you. So, my first question for you is uh, the second question. is about sustainability. Sustainability is, uh, is growing focus into different industries, across industries. So, how is Wurt integrating sustainability in, into product development and the related uh, processes? Well, sustainability is a big word, okay? So, it starts from the design of the component, so wherever we can, let's say, make a component more simple, less production steps, yep. means I have to have less things to do on a certain point of winding or welding or whatever. So a more simple component means less production steps, so more or less a faster production and less yeah, failure impacts. And then, of course, driving this product to a high production yield, high quality output, um, so I have less waste in my production. We are just on the way on releasing a new inductor type. It's not shown here because we are still on the way to do that, but we can even bring down um, yeah, waste to a minimum in the yep. power inductor technology. That is one of these things. And then, of course, yeah, under, yeah, underlining the problem of efficiency in power design, when we go on like this, as we do right now, all the power needed for AI-driven solutions, high power usage, it needs more efficient power designs. And we are, the magnetics, under high pressure because gallium nitride sits in carbide, we know, super nice switches. Yes. And the magnetics are under high pressure now to make these losses as small as possible. And again, coupled inductors are here a good way to solve this. But it's a, a mix out of yeah, circuit design or switcher and switch mode design, and the, how is it made? and the inductor, how the winding is set up. And this is a good way we are on, but uh, not at the end. We are still working on improvements step by step. We can showcase some of these solutions here already on the, on the booth. Yeah. Sure, sure. So let's talk about more about uh, uh, electrification, about uh, energy efficiency. So with the, the growing uh, interest in terms of electrification, energy efficiency, in particular uh, market about uh, automotive, industrial automation. So, and there is... Uh, so a lot of challenges, a lot of development. So how is Wurt uh, contributing to this uh, transformation? Not only electric vehicles, probably also uh, talking about transportation. That is okay. a, a huge market. So for automotive or the e-mobility or let's say e-cars, of course, there is um, where we look into the market and look for, let's say, other ideas and traditional designs of how to make my, my charging station. Um, we have some nice examples already where we can say we, we support these startup ideas, so the new ways how to charge my car, but it needs, of course, and that's a bit the, uh, the, the situation we have, the smart network, the smart grid. That is really what is needed to be able to really distribute the power in this big field of charging stations to the best and under the sufficient power maximum in the, in the network. That is still needed. Then on the other side for, for industrial solutions, um, we find uh, very interesting now the upcoming uh, DC grid in, okay. in the factories okay. because then we can save some of these converters where you go from AC to a DC and 
here you can really save some of the converter stages. Sure. Eventually not good for us because we lose eventually a PFC choke. Yeah, but overall the designs get more efficient mm -hmm. and you get more flexibility in connecting okay. several devices in such a grid. At this time it's a bit of yeah, very young technology I would say, okay. but the outlook is really very positive and the power impact is huge. 5%, 6% energy saving in an industrial, industrial environment means a lot of energy savings, especially when energy cost is so high as it is right now. So DC grid in a factory, in a new factory setup is where I say very important. Okay, some small things still to solve, but it's all on a good way. Here okay. I see a very good positive impact coming up. Yeah. Great. Okay, good. So you are CTO of Burt Electronic. So what is your uh, uh, leadership philosophy? Well, so how do you promote, how do you foster culture of innovation? I hope uh, it's done by... Um, Leadership by example, you call it. Yeah, also I hope that I can uh, say and showcase to my teams I have that I work every time against the no. The no's we normally in word electronics or in word in general, we don't accept the no. We want to understand the no. And why is the no in the field and how can we surround this or solve this no into a yes? Whatever that means. And really understand where are limitations and then find solutions around it. And we implemented very early in our in our design teams, design thinking, yeah, agile in hardware design to let them really room to go out of processes, so to say. Yeah. That's where we motivate them to do, um, to, to think out of the box, not staying in the box, go to see conferences, technical conferences, consume knowledge. And, and bring yourself to a better knowledge level and try things out. Things can go wrong, but if you don't experiment, if you don't do the experiment, you never know. So, yes, you can make a failure, but not by purpose, right? By an experiment, it doesn't work, wonderful, but now I learned what will not work, for sure not work, so find the next solution. So I, we try, we hope that we can motivate people really to go by leadership by example. I made my mistakes, of course, yeah, but at least the sum of the positive things is more important. Yeah, from mistake you can Absolutely. learn. You can learn for sure. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> so, next question. So, the global semiconductor, the electronics market, uh, uh, all of these has seen uh, challenges, in particular supply chain during the, the last year. So, how is how you are working in this in this market? How you so what strategies to guarantee a resilience in terms of? Uh, supply chain in terms of so resilience looking forward for the market that is a fast evolving market. Very important is the uh, close contact in between the customer to us. So at an early stage to understand where are you in your design stage? What is your next design coming up? What is this based on? As which IC solution or whatever semiconductor solution is in behind that we earliest know where this train could go or will go. And we sum it up, in our case, with many, many designs. And we, then we try, even in the design, to, to give some guidelines. If you really want to go this small size, yes. or it's eventually better yes. to go two steps mm -hmm. uh, larger in size, yes. then you have a long-term availability okay. guaranteed. It's easier for your EMS to eventually to put it on the board. It has, because bigger size means, especially also for capacitor sometimes, a better yeah, DC behavior and so on. So, to really think twice before I finalize my design, to make it to more available components, uh, less or less DCR means less heating. Less heating means less yeah, lifetime impact. So I have a longer prolonged lifetime normally with less heat in the design. We have a lot of solutions also here with uh, heat spreaders or how to get the heat out. It's really the challenge now for high power electronics, low heating. Uh, if there is heat, how to get the heat out of the design. So that is where we work on, on yeah, to bring this in. And then we know from all this mix how to arrange our productions best. Yes. And we can buffer, of course, uh, goods in our warehouses. But the most important point is earliest communication and clear communication about the demand and no overreaction. No, if I need 1,500, I need 1,500. Don't order 10,000. We, we are so or so summing these parts up and have 10,000 in behind in total. Um, this brings a lot of pressure out of the supply chain channel and, of course, price raises and so on. Also, talk to us about your design, your true demands, and we will find the best solution for you as a customer to solve this and being best on time. 
So let's talk about uh, manufacturing with an increasing in terms of digitalization of manufacturing. So how you are leveraging the digital tools, industry 4.0, the next probably 5.0 tools uh, in, this, uh, in this regard? Yeah, but in the factories, of course, what was made mainly on paperwork and then two slow reaction times on what impacted now this SPC, SPC numbers going wrong directions, now to have it more online and on the fly, so okay. to see uh, this parameter set is going eventually in the wrong way, why, and then immediately look back in the processes before, what was changed, what was impacting here, to again get the yield, production yield in the higher output. For the designers here in, in uh, taking our components, we have the tool Red Expert, we have a lot of measurement data inside, so if you select, if you compare different, let's say, technologies of the same component level and then simulate that what I do here on my digital twin is close to my reality. So my first answer from simulation should be very close to reality, let's say plus minus 5% on, uh, um, uh, yeah, on, on the output yes. um, uh, tolerance, so to say, because then I need one less design of my breadboard design, so to say my first prototype, or my first prototype is so close to what I need and no big surprises anymore in the design, then I save uh, time. That is because we measure a lot of data, we feedback the data again even from our um, um, production lines into the measurement of components and you have very, very reliable data set for me as a designer outside world and I can from this go in my digital twin, digital twin close to reality. That's where we drive and support this idea of um, digitalization into a positive impact of my designs. So, my last uh, question for you, Alexander. So, looking forward, looking to the future, what uh, excites you the most uh, from, uh, from the future, from the direction of Wurt, from the electronics going forward, uh, and uh, what key message you would like to, to give to next uh, innovators, next uh, young engineers? As we need hardware designers. Your job is very important to us. To every one of us, we have just talking about, talked about the energy efficiency. You need really hardware designers doing that because power is a thing. Every device needs power and uh, we power have different power levels. Yeah, absolutely. And that has to be really super efficient. Our energy sources are limited and those we have, we have to make the most of it. And especially when we think about the scale up of devices, yeah, we have to bend the curve of energy consumption and can also be than by more efficient designs. That would, for me, as a young engineer talent, a very challenging thing. And especially on the magnetics, we have a lot of things to do. The end is not there. Many things, um, the questions we raised up in an APEC show several years ago from my side was really, how would AI design the power inductor yes. best efficient when I go out of normal things I know? How would I design or how would AI design such an inductor? So many, many things where we need creativity, co-working together, thinking out of the box where we think uh, even a young generation can go here even faster and still very committed and make a positive impact to the designs, absolutely. So a lot of technologies, a lot of business. Yeah, it's, don't be yeah, bothered by all these technology things. We have a lot of very good uh, basic knowledge to know, yes. that's clear. Mathematics, of course, you have to know a bit mathematics. <laughs> but then it's fine, you have even tools for that. But don't be, um, yeah, don't be shy. Study yeah. electronics, make hardware. Besides software, is hardware the key, what we need. Okay, thanks a lot, Alexander. Thank you, Maurizio. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. Thanks very much for the interview. Thanks. Thank you.